do be careful, Arthur. You'll mark the wall. <laughs> Here you are, darling. Thanks a lot, Mum. By the way, Dad, I've, uh, I've had to take your razor. Mine's on the blink. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll grow a beard. <laughs> Going now, then. Is Morning, it? Vera. I was wondering when you'd turn up. Ah, nothing has ever happened in this house that she hasn't turned up just in time for. Not having children of my own, Arthur. I've always tried to take an interest in yours, mm. despite your frigid welcome. <laughs> just come to say cheerio, love. Bye bye, Vera. You'll be much better off away from home and its unsympathetic influences. <laughs> oh, be a good boy. Best of luck. <laughs> You'll excuse me, I'll just go and finish my breakfast. Now be sure to ring us just, every just, week. Just a minute, she's not eating here now, is she? Dad, do you mind? The taxi's waiting. What? The taxi. Oh, yes, yes, come on, he'll miss his train. I'll bring the luggage, Arthur. It's all right, Dad, I can manage. Oh, thanks, son. Oh, you wanted your ten pounds back, didn't you? No, no, you, uh, you keep it and uh, there's a bit more for incidentals. Thanks a lot, Dad. Well, take care of yourself, and uh, I shall miss you. Cheers, Dad. Goodbye, son. <laughs> there. Hello, Dad. What? Oh, no! What's happened? Don't panic. Nothing happened. I decided to come back. That's all. You decided to do what? I brought it over on the train going up, and I'm not sure that I'm ready to do veterinary science yet, so I got the next you, train back you, again. You, you come back down here! <laughs> Look, I, I, I'd rather you didn't give me any hassle. I need time to think things over, so I'm going up to my room. Oh, no, you're not. Now, keep calm, Martha. You... Go and finish your drink. I will have a word with him and find out I what this is all about. I am going up there, Baron, and I'm going to... Give him a good hiding. Possibly. Don't be silly. He's bigger than you are. Yes, well... Is that Fiona? Yes, it is. Oh, good. Uh, come in. You know Fiona, Dad. What the hell is going on here? Yes, well, we're just going up to my room to talk to things over. Yeah, I'm the one you should be talking things over. Keep your voice down, Arthur. Yeah, never mind about that. What about him? I am quite old enough to handle my own affairs, and will you please not disturb us? What no, the other sister. Oh, hello, Paul. Ah, uh, left Boris, have we? Well, it doesn't surprise me. Right little nerk he was. Uh, how's the old man taking it? <laughs> Deep shot. Well. <laughs> Can you smell something tell me? Isn't he supposed to be at college? Well, apparently he and his prospective fiancée are talking it over. We'll all be informed in due course. Mm, any supper? I'm starving. I, um, heard you got the sack from the car showroom then. Oh, good, you got some time. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you anything, dear? Arthur? I think I'll have a Valium sandwich. Dad? <laughs> 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 I was thinking about going into business for myself. Oh, yeah. in the motor trade. I've got it all worked out, and I wanted to tell you just how because... much. He didn't ask for money, Arthur. He's just explaining his plans. At least you could listen. Exactly. It's what you're always calling private enterprise. Yeah, that's right, Dad. You see, what just, I thought just, I'd do. Just tell me how much. Well, I suppose you're I'll need about. You're always taking advantage of Dad. You never paid him back the money you borrowed to buy his birthday presents. Okay, okay. I'll make it on my own. Now then. that's what I call private enterprise. The problem is. I can't work from where I'm living at the moment. The rent's 40 quid a week anyway, so if I could have my old room back here. Mm. And there's plenty of space in our drive to park a couple of cars. And that all. Now, just a moment, Paul. I, I don't think I use the phone. I want to tell Morris not to ring really you. Oh, yes. Never saw smoke coming from your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you just mean? leave a questionnaire, you... Vera. I'll fill it in. I'll return it to you. <laughs> Vera, the Portuguese lizard has escaped. I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Use the bloodhound. Mum, it's Lorraine on the phone. She sounds upset. She wants to have a word with you. Oh, uh, it's all right, dear. I'll speak to her. No, I'm going to get her room ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad. Uh, you know Fiona? Of course. <laughs> I thought I'd leave home. You want to come? What? <laughs> There's a vacancy back at the Manchester office. Uh, just a moment. Uh, what? Oh, well, yes, I suppose you could. I I'll ask him. Arthur, she wants to know if... Arthur? Where's Dad gone with that suitcase? Arthur! What's going on? Well, your father's left home. Oh. Oh, good. He hasn't taken the car. <laughs> what do you want us to do, Mum? Well, I don't know. 
Uh, it may be only a token departure. Well, we can go and fetch him back. Oh, yes. Yes, do that. He'll probably be grateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't he silly? Well, he couldn't just walk out anyway. After all, I mean, who'd support us all? 